Meet Edward Hall, a young math whiz raised in Moorestown, New Jersey. In 1945, he left college to become a Tuskegee Airman in the Army. It was there that Eddie found himself in two battles, one alongside our allies in World War II and another at home against discrimination. Imagine being told by the War Department that you don't have the intelligence or coordination to fly military planes, and then being asked to do just that. This was the challenge and mission of the Tuskegee Airmen. During World War II, this Alabama-based program was used to train African-American men as military pilots. Considered one of the riskiest missions, Tuskegee Airmen flew as escorts for white pilots. Eddie and his fellow Tuskegee Airmen made history by defying racial stereotypes. Not only did these pilots contribute to the Allied victory, but their success was unrivaled. Eddie survived a serious crash during pilot training and was discharged as first lieutenant and member of the 477th Bomb Group. He then obtained a degree in physics from Virginia State University, followed by graduate work at the RCA Institute in New York. In 1950, Eddie moved to Hartford, Connecticut and started working as an engineer at Pratt & Whitney proudly examining the performance of metals on the manufacturing shop floors. A year later, he married the love of his life, Betty Harris Hall. After an incredible 33-year career at Pratt & Whitney, Eddie retired as a metallurgical engineer, a warrior and pioneer who persevered in the pursuit of equality. He rose to the occasion of life's challenges with grace, loyalty, and commitment. We honor Edward Hall's noble legacy with this aircraft, Edward the Bald Eagle.